Hello everybody and welcome this time to Pondering. This is an original puzzle design by Hugo B Designer with hammerizationalization by Critfish. So a very big thank you to the both of them. Uh, you've put me in a room that's just glass. Ah, because it's, it's monoportal. Of course it is. It's a Hugo B Designer puzzle and we all know that Hugo B Designer, well, Hugo love monoportal. Um, this is to... Show me that it's monoportal, right? And there's the other one out there displayed through the grass. Fine, where do you take me? You take me to a long drop onto a panel. Panel that looks like it'll do some sort of flipping action. With a battery that is probably long expired by now, but we don't question Aperture's uh, abilities to store energy. Bouncy blue gel up there. Very high mounted fizzler. Exit directly opposite you, just to mock you. Exit also rather inconveniently not completed probably hence the bouncy bouncy blue gel right um another panel here that looks like it can do flip up action with you which points us looking at the big set of arrows that take us back up where we came from where if i'd been paying attention would have seen that there's a cube delivery tube and ant lines that direction okay so we've got to go back on ourselves at some point uh it's monopod all right so you're probably never going to move from there and be rather inconvenient Another high-mounted fizzler up there. And that's basically everything, right? Or is there a load more chamber tucked away up that side? Of course there is. There's a load more chamber tucked away up that side. So everything, everything is up. And everything up will probably involve bouncing. Is that white gel or is that water? If that's water and there's bouncy blue gel, that means I'm probably going to have to wash a cube at some point. Um... So how do we start getting anywhere? The map is called Pondering, which makes me think I'm going to spend a long time doing exactly that. I want to go up. Uh, if we use you, we can at least have a look at what else is up in different places. I, I kind of wanted to just look for a moment. Uh, up that way. Up that way, I could probably strafe. No, if we did an infinite drop thing, we could probably strafe over there, right? No, that's not going to work. We're going to need the bounce. Uh, what was that direction that direction there's a panel with the bouncy blue stuff is can i can i get you i can cool uh we have bouncy blue this particular panel and we can now get up to up to up to ah here here exactly where i wanted uh we got a faith plate that has smashed its way through the floor what is this though is this water you have to do a taste test with these things yeah it's water it's not water that you particularly want to drink but it is the aperture water that you are supplied with you you're not on you're not on because on for you is connected all the way up there. Okay, so I kind of have the ability now to get the bouncy blue stuff one other place because it's a mono portal puzzle. Uh, that means bounce that way, right? Is that enough from here? No, you just land on the edge. Is that enough to get back up here? Can I get back up there or do I have to do the infinite drop type thing again? Yeah, okay, you can get back up there. Um... That's the only other panel I can do anything with, so I'd quite like you to be bouncy. Can I do the the thing if I'm quick about it? If I... No, because it's monoportal and monoportal makes doing that thing awkward unless you're really quick and confuse the engine. Nah, that's never going to work. Okay, so you shall remain non-bouncy. That's probably very specifically designed that way. Uh, bounce from you to you to up to you. Can that work? Everything's up, right? So everything must involve a bounce to get you. Yeah, that's what that's for. Okay, so everything's going to involve a bounce to get anywhere. Uh, we've got a panel up here behind some more glass. That's where we sort of started. We actually started in the fish tank there. There is something up here. Another cube delivery tube and an all-important arrow. All-important arrow points at a button. Probably just for that tube. There's a downstairs stairs area more arrows that say you should look at this thing and that thing that i should be looking at that looks like a conveyance beam right is this the conveyance beam button it's a very very big looking button uh that is the orange pulling variety of conveyance beam lined up perfectly with that panel there and then there's a load more stuff up here as well that i can't actually get a good look at so since it's bouncing right we probably got to bounce to get anywhere else would make sense. So I want some bounce here and presumably bounce like basically literally anywhere else I can put the blue stuff because the more bouncing options I have, 
the more chances one of them is bound to be, you know, the correct bouncing option. Um, well, it's mono portals, right? So I only have you. I can't go back and forth to get you out, and we can't do that mid-air gel transfer thing that I often feel I have to rely on. So, can I see anything else? Are there any more, hey, you should pay attention to this idiot arrows anywhere? Well, there's you, you, yeah, I get up there, right, and up there as well. So we want to go up everywhere. Um, To go up everywhere, I have to bounce. How do I get bounce in here? It's got to be to do with pulling the gel, since we can get to the conveyance beam. So if I had you doing a continuous flow there... Could I be really quick about it? And no, because again, it's monoportal. Um, there's no chance of getting to that button. That's mesh. That's mesh. Is that mesh of a purpose? It does go all the way to the floor. And you seem to be a different color for a reason. Right, that gives options of looking out there. That could have taken me a very, very long time to spot. Uh, can I get that one? I could get you. I could definitely get you. I can get you, and I can get you. And I mean, that's mesh as well, but that's all fizzled off up there. Is that a panel? No, that's the edge of the cube delivery tube. So, uh, to get gel in here, I could probably use that panel over there somewhere. There it is, into the middle, because that's where the one mono portal is. Is that going to work, though? I suppose with the little bit of extra flow? If we stand on you and do you, I said stand on you and do you, and I had been way quicker about the whole stand up on you and do you thing. Let's have that again. And get on the button that seems bigger than usual, but that's probably just me not paying attention. And I can have some gel in here, and I want like loads of it, as much gel as possible to cover basically everywhere. Right, that gets up to here. We've got a panel concealed in the floor connected to something up that side. And a single panel here with what I'm going to refer to as the inconvenience window, because that's clearly there to block us from something. Kind of lines up with you, right? So bouncing there doesn't give us a shot there, but gives us a shot here at some point to go up that way. Uh, what's on this other level? This other level's got a button, and pressing a button at this point would count as progress, right? So you... Like so, give me a cube, old-fashioned plywood cube. Old-fashioned plywood cube with a little bit of blue staining. Uh, I suppose get the cube out of here makes sense, right? Is there any way to get the cube out of here with the one inconveniently glassed off panel back there, maybe? Stick you there for the moment. No, actually, you need to come with me, don't you? And up there, yep, just about make it. So, mono portals, that'll only let me get back out to, well, there. But at least then we'll have a cube, right? So that kind of feels like enough progress to hit quick save. I tend to kind of struggle with Hugo B designer puzzles. They're clever and they're monoportal and at some point I'll completely forget that I don't get to put the other portal wherever the hell I want the other portal. Um, you go on there then. Gives me a bouncing here with cube in hand. Uh, that was quite a high bounce and gave us a glimpse of up there. There's an angled panel up there and I think a button? It makes sense that there's a button because something turns that faith plate on. Can I have a better look up there if we do... Stop bouncing a sec. I said stop bouncing a sec. Can I do like the infinite drop thing here and have a actual look at stuff? Uh, where is actual stuff? Actual stuff is there. There's a button and an angled panel. Uh, the only other thing I can do now I've spotted it is, hold on, if we time it right, it's there somewhere. There it is. Okay, that, that is a much slower bounce, and I can actually have a bloody good look at things. Right, um, exit there. Guessing that's way too much just to get over. It does kind of line you up with a button. No, it doesn't ignore that. Um, no, but that was giving me good looks at places, and I want more good looks at places. Let's do that again then. Cube, you wait there for me. I will work out what you're for eventually. There's a button. It's probably for you. So that and then line this up again. Try and hit it mid-air somewhere there. 
I mean, you angle, right? So I probably should have made use of that. Uh, what can we see? Angled panel there. There's a button up there that looks like it's going to control the faith plate, or at least turn the thing on. Yeah, you can't see that panel in there because it's behind glass. I mean, you can see it because that's how glass works, but you can't use it. You can presumably use that one, though. What do you connect to? You connect to a button on a higher level there. So I probably needed more bouncy blue gel or get some blue gel up onto that level somehow. To bounce up that one little bit there. Again, the map is called Pondering, and I'm thinking this is a very nice pondering location because you can actually, actually look at everything. Um, I'm guessing we're not going back into the room with the glass. That's probably just to be like, hey, take note, you've only got mono portal. So that's fizzled off. The only thing I can really do is make you an angular panel. So let's make you an angular panel. We have no bounce here. Uh, we do have a cube. A cube is handy for doing such a thing. You can go ahead and... I suppose that's not really necessary since we can bounce up there, there. Uh, you can go ahead and make this angular, right? And if we do the same thing we were just doing, but with new angular, angular technology, does that fly me up there? The arrows would indicate we want to go there, and, you know, cube delivery tube tend to want those. Uh, how did I do that then? Well, by placing the only bloody portal I can do. So, you, and then infinite loopy droppy thing with there somewhere, there, there somewhere. Yeah, that one. Um, is this good? It's good. Okay, cool. Uh, this gets us up to pretty much where we started, minus the glass. There is the button for another cube, your orange. Crap, that means it's a mono portal puzzle with cube management. Unless that's just to be pretty. I know Hugo has decorated cubes for them to be pretty in the past, but it seems like a lot of trouble to go to staining the old-fashioned cubes if they're not going to be colour-coded for a reason. Um... Okay, well, I got two cubes. The only other button is all the way up there. That was the only other button, right? The only other cube button? Ah, uh, no, that's the other cube button. But I can't get up there. Uh, infinite drop thingy there. Portal replacement there. Air strafe that way? No, probably not. Tube in the way. Do suddenly feel tempted to see how far I can bounce up that tube, though. Uh, you come down... You know what? Let's quick save here as well. You come down with me here and just wait for a moment. Let's do this thing to satisfy my own curiosity. And then... There somewhere. Is that... Ah, oh, the tube doesn't let you go all the way up inside it. That's disappointing. You get a fair way up in there. It's kind of hard to tell though. Um, let's stop this, shall we? Yeah. Uh, let's get off of there, smack my head on the ceiling, and work out what we're supposed to do next. Um, the button that was up there, for that panel, how do I get at you? Uh, let's have another look up there. So cubes wait down here for the moment because there's a fizzler in the way. You get out of the way. Yeah, see, this makes me think at some point the cube's going to have to get bouncy. Uh, let's do this then to get over back up to the... I was not pressing control. Let's do that again, but better. Hey, I haven't used that line for a while. So, badoing... Badoing back up to here. With a little bit more badoing strength, you could probably land straight on that and get back up to this one. And since they're colour-coded, I'm thinking there's a cube respawn? And technically, I guess you're the easier one to respawn? Yeah, when there's a cube respawn, I tend to think the easier one, right, is the one that you're probably going to want to respawn and destroy so that you can reset it. Um, so what else can we actually even do in here? I suppose you're a button that I completely forgot existed after I made the first use of you. Let's get back up here a sec. That would keep the conveyance beam on. Conveyance beam on. Maybe get some gel in here. Doesn't seem like there'd be much point. 
If I could get gel up here, though, that would be for getting up there, right? How would I get gel up here without you? Which kind of suggests that maybe we don't get gel up here without you, because we can't get gel up here without you. Um... Yeah, I need to ponder for another moment. Can I have you at an angle there? And there's the moment where I was about to go, hey, we can have a conveyance beam out of there. We can't because mono portals. Would it be any use? Well, what's the point? We don't have it. Um, I can have a conveyance beam, but all I can do with you in here is the one panel there. I could pull a cube in here. If we left a cube, oh, I can't put a cube down on there, can I? Because it will bounce away. Uh, the cube could be infinitely dropping. Switch the portal to you. Launches the cube into the conveyance beam. That would pull a cube in here. I mean, we can see out there for a reason, right? And that's kind of close. Kind of close enough to get you, but not you. So I don't think I could actually get there in time to do that. It feels like something I'm supposed to try. But now that I've spoken the try, or said all of that, I've just realized there's an easier way to get a cube in here. Because this is literally where the cube is born from, right? Yeah, okay, so I could easily get a cube in here. Uh, that is an option though, right? That's definitely something that could be useful. Uh, I don't think it helps me get anywhere though. Although, actually, yeah, okay, we bounce here into the conveyance beam, yeah? That pulls us up to the higher level. Wasn't there a button up there? So I do actually need a cube up there? But for that, I need the conveyance beam? I wanna go look up there first, because I feel like there's stuff I can't see. Uh, let's get that cube back in here then. That is no longer angular and you're waiting here. Let's go stick you on the button down the bottom. Like so, conveyance beam is now permanently activated. Are you high enough? No, you are not. Let's do it from- Oh, Why did you shove me sideways? That's not typical conveyance beam behavior. Ah, you grabbed me. Okay, you were just pondering what you were going to do with me, is it, Beam? Uh, up here, there is a button. This button. This button gives us that panel. Ooh, and you're angular, too. That's how we get up there, right? That's a big launchy thing, so... Cube. Cube up here? Which cube up here? Does it matter? How do I get cube up here? Um, I do have two cubes, right? So one of them presumably has to keep you going. Because that's the only real way up here. So how can I get the other cube into here? Uh, where even is the other cube at this point in time? The other cube is over there, just waiting uselessly. So maybe I do have to do that fancy flippy thing. Nothing's currently portaled. No, fine. Uh, maybe I do have to do that launching the cube thing. Again, no other portal. I was looking for the portal to place above that one for a moment. Um, getting up here is easy enough. So how to get that one? Maybe I could cube bob you. No, because the... Again, I've only got one portal to play with, so it has to be... Uh, I can't put you down here, right? You're just going to bounce away. Yeah. Uh, that means that you can only probably work with this one. Like so. I can see all this from up above, so let's go back above. Yeah, it's gonna need to get bouncy or is that if you accidentally make it bouncy give me this one back up to this side uh, what's the sequence then for getting that cube up here it has to be done through mesh
Nope, can't do that because I only have one portal to play with. Um, drop it through, it falls, put another portal there, then portal there. That should get it in here, right? So, you, uh, you, and then you. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, I want that. Can I, can I have that? Can I have that? Thank you. Um, actually, I should have followed you, shouldn't I? Let's get up there, then. This can go sit on that one button, making you angulated. With that angulated, we have, like, a new option. A new option to ponder upon. You sit there. I wonder if it matters which one's where. They are colour-coded. They seem specifically colour-coded. So, I've got you. Uh, I can't move the conveyance beam. All I could do is, I guess, fly out of you. Flying out of you is, I guess, how we get up there then, right? To get up there. Um, that would all have to be done from back out there. Does it matter? If the conveyance beam's on or off? That's going to catch me if I fling out of there, right? So, off, I guess. Uh, there was a button up there as well, right? Yeah, that's for the faith plate. Um, so, why would I need to even be able to get up there? We need to get up there to see what's actually available up there, really, don't we? Uh, to get up there to do that, I want this conveyance beam off. Uh, to do that, we can grab you off of there. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to get that back out there, because there's another button, right? It's going to need it. But I kind of just want to go have a look there first. Uh, let's quick save here. So, angular panel there. Again, mono portal can't do anything fancy, so everything has to be back out that side. Um, yeah, the fact that I can't move one of the portals always really throws me off. So... Infinite droppy thing there, fly out of you. Can I even see that from here? It's... it's... there, 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 there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit that. I probably don't think I can hit that. Yeah, I did. Oh, cool. Uh, that gets us up to here. That gets us up to here where another panel has smashed its way through. I do like that. Um, that. That literally just turns the faith plate on, doesn't it? That's all that's up here, and you're not even a panel. So... Why? What's the thing that turns... Where does that come to? Oh, that angles you as well. That makes you a lot more important and kind of explains why I do actually need a cube up here. Uh, how do we get a cube up here? Nothing turns this off, does it? No, you don't have any antline connections and a critfish map usually has pretty nicely done antline connections. Um, is that glass? That's glass, so I can... Well, okay, I can't use you anyway, because again, it's it's mono portal, and every single time I get an idea, it's, hey, oh wait, I don't have the other one. I can hit you from here. Is that a thing? No, it's not, because I don't have the bloody other portal. Um, you do have that, though, right? Sort of. It's definitely accessible whilst in midair. So it's got to be get a cube up there to that button. Everything that gets us up there goes through the fizzler. Cube cannot do fizzler. They don't get along. Um, put it on the put it on the faith plate. Put it on the faith plate. Yeah, put cube upon faith plate. That's why you're off already, right? So a cube could just wait here. Then I get up there. And swap my weight with that of the cube. Okay, um... So, would it matter... Which one? 
Again, I'm tempted to just use the blue one because it's sort of the easiest to work with. Or at least the easiest to get back. Actually thinking about it, they're about the same, aren't they? Yeah, so... I want a cube waiting on the faith plate. Um, one of them's got to stay up there because we need that angular panel. So let's do it with the blue one. Uh, to get you out of here, we have to... What do we have to do? It was an easy way, right? Yeah, with that panel behind the inconvenient glass. So, up here. Fine, I'll, I'll join you in a second. Technically, I could use you right now as well, couldn't I? So, is there a reason to use you? Like, having left a portal on you? That would chuck me straight back over, wouldn't it? I mean, yes, if I had, you know, done that better. Um, so if you leave a portal there, you kind of have a direct way back up there. Doesn't help with the whole cube on faith plate thing, so let's get that cube out here. To do that, we've got to go this way again. Uh, not that one, it's the next layer. Control the bounce, and then just up. So if I drop you through there now, you're just going to bounce all over the place, right? And I want you bouncing all over the place, so let's use the flat one. Which really doesn't make much difference because I've got to go anyway. So you know what, I'll, I'll just keep hold of it. That'll stop the bounce. Up there, and then up here without getting you all bouncy. That's why, that's why there's a drip of water, right? Because you could very easily bounce with cube in hand and get it all, all bouncy, like... So, and then you'd be like, oh no, it's bouncy, and then, 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 wash it off. Okay, cool. Yes, Hugo does think these things through. Uh, let's put that there. You do not go anywhere for the moment, because I've got to get up to the top. Which means i got to go all the way over that way again. Give me you, up to you. Does it matter which cube? Probably does, and that's going to come back to bite me in the ass at some point, isn't it? Let's get back up to this level. Uh, this is probably also another good point for a quick save. So if I drop through you, you should just fling me up there where we actually want to go. If I don't, you know, press mid-air buttons and accidentally air strafe where I don't want to go. Why did that not work? Because that's nowhere near enough power to do that because I've forgotten how I did it before. We have to hit you in midair, right? We have to put a portal upon you in midair whilst doing... that thing? How did I do it before? It had to be done like that, right? Uh, it was awkward, but we did manage it, so let's go back out to this side. So infinite droppy loop thing here. Hit that panel. How is that enough? I don't know, but it works, so let's go with it. Uh, like that, and then where are you? You're... There, somewhere. That one, that's the one. Yeah, cool, right, that gets us up here, and standing upon you, but first hitting quick save because of paranoia, means cube delivery, yes? Somewhere? I thought it'd flown over the top then. Uh, that means you can sit on here. So I now have permanent faith plate. Which doesn't seem very necessary, but you, you do. And it's bouncy, right? Is that it? Is that enough of a fling? Wait, I don't want to turn anything off at the moment. Um, never mind, it did it whilst we were in midair, didn't we? Yeah, uh, is that enough to do? get us out of here? Like, if we... Hold on. If I don't do it this way, I know Hugo will comment about it. So look. Portal, not placed in midair. Right? So, better funneling, yes? Oh uh, yeah, of course it works better. <laughs> better funneling. Straight up to the exit, quite aggressively, into the ironwork. And that, that is actually the exit, yeah. As always with a Hugo B designer puzzle, very satisfying to finally figure out the final manoeuvres. And, you know, fun manoeuvres to do as well. And of course, it's a crit fish map, meaning... Looks very nice and has that 
creepy ass green mistiness to the giant science sphere. Uh, that was Pondering, original puzzle designed by Hugo B. Designer and Hammerizationalization by Critfish. So a very, very big thank you to the both of them. And now I'm off to ponder the possibility of actually getting to go to bed. Doesn't take much thought, to be completely honest. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.